Subscription boxes. They're everywhere. Today's is no different. It arrived on the 31st of the 1st, 2020. Not that long ago. So it could be February's box. Could be January's box. Could actually be a box from like 400 years ago and someone just unearthed in an architectural dig. I'm just saying. Premium creatures, welcome back to another video. I am Jar Warlock. This is Loot Crate. It is a monthly box. About 24 quid. Comes from the USA. You have to pay like three pound postage. Four-ish to five items, usually. 30 to 50 quid worth of value, supposedly. So yeah, that's all you need to know, really. Uh, this is an incredibly light box. I don't know what month it's for because they're still backlogged with boxes, but we won't let that stop us from finding out what is in it. It's about the fifth or sixth video I've recorded today. I'm very hyper, I'm very tired. Whew. Let's just get into it. The first item is a t-shirt. Ooh, oh, I like, I like it. I like it a lot. It is a cartoon I grew up with, and many of you would have grown up with. It is, of course, the masters of the universe. I'll say it again, Netflix, the toys that made us, go and watch it. There's one of the masters of the universe and how it became. It was huge, like multi, multi, hundred million dollar worth enterprise, and it was never meant to happen like that. But there you go, you got the, um, I was gonna say you got Castle Grayskull. That is not Castle Grayskull, that is the symbol for um, <gasps> Skeletor, although it looks more like the one for the Snake Lord. And you've got Battlecat's helmet, you've got the wings of the uh, Oracle Lady, I can't remember, there's the, the swords and... That's just really nice. I can't remember, I'd, there's a couple of books like the, about He-Man, like the art of, and... Uh, the other stuff, like the character encyclopedia. I really want to get hold of them, but they're like 20 or 30 quid each on Amazon. It's a lot of money, but they're really good. I think I'm actually spat on this t-shirt. Wow. That's a nice t-shirt. That is my childhood. I like that. That's a tenner. That gets an up. But it's dead simple. Do you remember He-Man? Do you, do you remember it? Do you remember the film, which had nothing to do with He-Man, but was called He-Man and starred Dolph Lundgren? No issues with Dolph Lundgren. The guy's hard as nails. He's like six foot seven Swedish, multi-world time kickboxing champion, went to MIT, he's got degrees coming out of his backside. Guy's amazing. Film sucked, had nothing to do with He-Man. And then there's the weird, like, sci-fi He-Man, which was okay, but bizarre. It was, it was very odd. Uh, yeah, He-Man. First item, that was, I like it, I like it. Well, the second item is, a folded up poster of um, what looks like blue. I think that's blue from uh, Jurassic World. Yeah, it is Jurassic World. I didn't, mean I didn't mind Jurassic World. Ooh, can't speak. I didn't mind Jurassic World. It was okay, but they did that fatal error of. Here's the thing: if you do a film, when you do a camera angle, always do your camera angle from the point of view of someone. Look at the first Jurassic Park. You see the T-Rex always looking up at the T-Rex, unless somebody's above the T-Rex, in which case the angle is always looking down. In this, you've got like pterodactyls flying around and stuff and the camera's just like floating in the middle of the air or it's underwater and it's like I can't connect to this because that's taking me completely out of it you want to feel like you're in the film eyeline of a camera does that I studied media, can you tell? yeah that sucks, that's a down next item and the next item is oh, it's the killer of He-Man She-Ra and the mistress of the universe? Yeah, no. but there we are, the She-Ra's donkey um, with wings, I don't know what called Pegaface or something, whatever, I don't care Hated She-Ra. Uh, She-Ra was the death of He-Man. Like, it actually was the death of He-Man. They went, He-Man's great. Guys love it. The boys are all like, we're He-Man. Because the whole premise was, I have the power. That's why it was so good, because you were like, I have the power. I am the best. Wonderful. Then they went, but the kills don't have anything. Let's create She-Ra. And then it took away from He-Man. And people were like, well, that sucks. Legitimately pretty much killed He-Man. Sad. Did have a great villain in Hordak, just a very strange name. Hordak. It's like, okay mate. Uh, yeah, it's a pin. It's a nice enough pin. There are a lot of she fans out there. It's not for me, but I know somebody who will like it. Oh, up or down? Up or down? Oh, it's difficult. I don't like she -Ra. It's a down. It's not that difficult, is it? Item three, probably, is a down. Uh, <laughs> before I even get it out. It's four really, really crappy coasters from Star Trek. Loot Crate exclusive. They could be bin liner exclusive. They could be from Sainsbury's. You could find these in a sewer and say they're exclusive to the sewer. 
they're just bits of card with like the Enterprise logo on. Um, Star Trek can be great. That's yeah. I started watching Picard. I got three episodes in and totally forgot the thing existed. Started watching other stuff. Just I don't know why. So if anyone's watched it, is it any good? Should I continue watching it? Because apparently I just forgot it was on. I do that with a lot of Amazon stuff. I get a bit of the way through and then just forget about it. Weird. That's a down, by the way, because it's garbage. Uh, item... Five? Let's say five. Oh, it's one of these stupid cards. I've no... Which has a footprint on. There's a footprint on my cut. Did someone stamp on this box? Do you work for Yodel or My Hermes? Because that would make a lot of sense. I don't know where that card went. Just went up in the air and just went, whoosh, vanished. Warped into another time period. It's a shame this crate didn't do that as well. Right, next item is Google -Go Power Rangers Dino Megazord. I love the Megazord, mainly because it was just a complete ripoff of a Transformer. Or was it? No, actually, no. The Transformers were kind of ripoffs of the Megazords, weren't they? Because the Power Rangers only came around in the 1990s, but they've been around since the 70s on the TV show. Ooh, that's good. It's the original Megazord with his sword. Get in there. There we go. That's actually quite a funky little thing. I should probably zoom in. Have I lacked that? No, I don't know. Let's zoom in. There we go. Go, go, Megazord. Uh, there's the Megazord, and we had, like, I've forgotten who the Megazords were made of. You had uh, the Sabretooth. You had the Triceratops. You had the Mastodon, which was the arms. Wasn't there a Pterodactyl and a T-Rex, I think was the red one. I can't remember, it's been so long. But it is loot crate, it's a nice thing. I actually loved the idea of the Megazords, but again, just because of its Transformers and watching people run around in giant cardboard and rubber suits beating up rubber aliens was hysterical. But I actually like that, so I am gonna give that an up because I think that's actually a really, really nice item. A little bit of nostalgia. Now we gotta get this into the right place. Whoop, nope, too far. Ah, woo! So that was Loot Crate Fall. <laughs> ah, now God knows when. Let's see what we had. I have the Power Masters of the Universe t-shirt. Power Rangers Dino Megazord. she ra pin. Ah, ah. So, uh, um, three downs, two ups. Is the value there? Not even remotely at all in any slight way. So that's another down. That's four downs, two ups. That's rubbish. That is rubbish. I know you're trying to get your crates out, but just, I don't know why it's so hard. Take all of, you've got like 18 crates. Take them, consolidate them. Five crates, do a gaming crate, do a loot crate, do a, an anime crate, and then the other two, I don't know, you can work that out yourselves. One completely random crate, and then you got one more. You don't need 42 million 31 crates full of crap, because that's essentially what you're sending out in a minute. Consolidate, look at other crates, loot taku, uh, Geek, Geek Fuel, Geek Fuel do pretty well, and Zbox, which are doing amazing at the moment. Zbox is probably one of the best. This, no. But let me know your thoughts down below. Are you old enough to remember the original Power Rangers? Are you old enough to remember the original He-Man? Let me know down below in the comments. As always, if you want to support, head over to Patreon, hit the join button. Down below, you get all special things and videos and things like that. But if you just want to support in general, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, leave a little comment down below, and I'll try to reply to as many as I can. As always, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye. I've had so much sugar. I am bouncing. Huh.